Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll share six useful tips for Windows 10. If you've been using Windows for a while, you might already be familiar with some of these tips, but I'm hoping that there are at least a few tips that you'll be able to take away from this tutorial. So let's jump right into it. Tip number one, add any program to the context menu. If we right click on any document, we can send it to different folders, application, and even external drives. If we have a folder that we frequently use, we can add it to the context menu. We can even add an application. Let's open up our command prompt. An easy way to do this is by hitting Windows R. Type shell colon send to and hit enter or press OK. This will open up the send to window. We can copy a shortcut to any folder or application we want to use in this folder. Let's add Evernote. Simply search for the app by hitting Windows S and type Evernote. Right click and open file location. Then just copy the shortcut into the send to folder by dragging the file while holding on to the right mouse click, then releasing it and choosing the copy shortcut option. Let's go to any document, right click, and select Send To. We now see there's an option for Evernote. Let's select it. If you open up Evernote, you'll see that the document has now been added to it. Tip number two, use keyboard shortcut to open apps in the taskbar. We have several apps in the taskbar. Going from the left to right, we can open the first app by using the shortcut Windows 1. We can launch the second app using Windows 2, the third app with Windows 3, so on and so forth. So I've deliberately organized my app shortcuts to show Outlook in the first position, followed by Teams, then OneNote, the three apps that I use the most. If I have a lot of windows open and my Outlook is buried somewhere deep, I don't have to shuffle through the app using Alt-Tab or even Windows-Tab. I can simply hit Windows 1. If I want Teams, I hit Windows 2. I've committed this to memory so I can very quickly get to these apps. If we have multiple windows open for the app that we want to launch, we can cycle through them by keep hitting the shortcut key. For example, let's open Edge by hitting Windows 5. We see that there are multiple active browser, so we can keep hitting the number 4 key while holding on to the Windows key to cycle between them. Tip number three, emojis. Emojis have become a standard language these days. We can get a list of Microsoft emojis by hitting Windows period or Windows semicolon. Either of these will work. You can then navigate and find the emoji that best fits your expression. In certain apps like in Outlook and Teams, you can even use keyboard combinations like colon open parentheses or close parentheses. Tip number four, use scroll click to open links in a new tab in web browsers. Sometimes when I want to follow a link to a different web page, I don't want to navigate away from the current page. I want the link to open in a new tab. We can of course right click on the link and select open a new tab. But we can more simply click the scroll wheel of our mouse. That'll open up the link in a new tab. Tip number five, clear all open windows on the desktop. Let's say we have a lot of windows open and we wanna to get to a shortcut on the desktop. It's a hassle to minimize each window. There are several ways to address this. If you wanna simply hide the windows temporarily, we can use the shortcut Windows D. We can then bring back all the active windows by hitting Windows D again. Alternatively, there's a narrow vertical bar at the bottom right of the screen. Simply click on it, it'll hide all the windows. When we click on it again, all our active windows will reappear. But if you want to minimize all active windows versus hiding them, we can use the shortcut Windows M. Hitting Windows M again won't bring back the windows since we've minimized them. Another way to do this is to grab the top bar of any window 
and gently shaking it. This will cause all other windows to be minimized. Tip number six, copy absolute file path. When we're uploading a document to a website or a cloud service, we're usually presented with a choose file option where we need to navigate and select the file. But if you have the file in a Windows Explorer already in front of us, we can simply copy the full path and paste it in the dialog box. Right click on the file or folder while holding on to the shift key. This will show a hidden context menu that allows us to copy the path to a clipboard. We can then simply paste it where we need it. And these are the six tips that I use most often. If you have a useful tip that you want to share with the group, feel free to drop it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you like contents like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.